Kids A, I am Ms. Ekel Madison Cancillo and for today, I'm going to perform the administering oral medication. So for this procedure, we need first to verify the doctor's order. The rationale is for us to know if we're giving the right medication as ordered. And the next is we need to wash your hands and observe other infection control procedure. The rationale is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms. Next is we need to identify the client and explain planning procedure. The rationale is for us to very far if we're handling the right patient and also for the patient to have an awareness what we will be going to do and why it is necessary. Next is we need to provide privacy for the patient all throughout the procedure. The rationale is for him or her to be comfortable. Next is we need to obtain the medication appropriately. So by doing that, we need to first read the medication administration record or the MAR and take the appropriate medication that MAR says. So let's assume that we already got the medication. So there, here. The next is we need to compare the medication that we got against the MAR. So let's compare. So, may phenamic acid, 5 ml, paracetamol, 500 mg. So, they are the same. And also, we need to check the expiration date. So, it is important for us to check the expiration date prior to administering it to the patient. Because if we will be giving or administering expired medication to the patient it will harm them so we need to check so for this drugs they are both good for this year okay so next is we need to prepare the medication in doing that again we need to calculate the dosage accurately and the next is we need to prepare correct amount of dosage without contaminating the medication and the next is we need to recheck if or recheck each prepared drug so we already done with the first check a while ago now we'll be doing the second check while or prior to pouring the liquid medication and also prior to placing the tablet medication or the medication cup we need also or we need first to recheck again it is important to recheck and recheck in order to in order to be sure that the medication that we are we will be administering rather is the appropriate one okay second check phenamic acid paracetamol okay so they are the same so it is the appropriate medication so we will now proceed on preparing the capsules or tablets so in doing this we need to place the, the uh, package tablet directly to the medication cup right in using a stock container we need to pour required number in the bottle cup and then transfer it in the disposable cup without touching the tablet and if there are other medication or narcotics that needs or requires a specific assessment we need to separate them from others and the next is if there are tablets that is needed to be break we need also to do that so now let's proceed on the liquid medication. So for this medication, we need first to mix thoroughly. And if there uh, or if we observe that the liquid medication is cloudy or there is changes or there are changes in color, we need to discard that immediately. So need to remove the cup of the liquid medication. 
So, in removing this, we need to place the cup upside down. The rationale is to prevent the contamination inside the cup. So, we need to place the bottle facing our palm. So, the, medica so, so the liquid medication will be away when we pour. Next is we need to place the medication cup on the flat surface. And when pouring, it needed to be on eye level so that we will be having an accurate measurement. Okay, so we need to have an eye level. So pour, let's now pour on the desired level. Okay, so 5 ml. After that, we need to wipe the, here, we need to wipe this to the top of the liquid medication before we return the cup. Alright. So, if the medication is less than 5 ml, we need to use the syringe for that. So let's assume that the required medication is 2 ml, only 2 ml. Let's say, let's assume that. Okay, so we need to have or we get only 2 ml. Alright, so here, it's already 2 ml. Alright, so when using the syringe, we need to label it with the name of medication and also the uh, root or per RM. Okay, so after all of the procedure that we, we've done, we need to aftercare all of the materials that we used and also wash your hands and document all of the data that we gathered. Thank you!